Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Nurse Jones, and I'm back with another video. If you are new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are returning, welcome back. You? She was scared to give me the Oxford. Dad. Who is this little boy? What floor are you on? Four. Let me tell Courtney here so we can end. Is that right now? Courtney! My shirt, my nipple. Oh, really? Nipple, nipple, nipple. Toothpaste. This doesn't make no sense. Every time I go somewhere, I always forget something. Okay, let me see. Dang, what they was doing? Smoking up in here? Dang. Baby, when I tell you. Oh, we was better off. Shoot. Getting breakfast at McDonald's. And my head hurt. How does my head hurt? Oh, yesterday, being out walking around every freaking where, yeah. So, <clears throat> my hands are tell them. I'm about to go to Walmart to give me some freaking toothpaste. I hope it don't rain. It's, it says it's gonna be like a 30% chance of rain, which, oh, I don't know. It's supposed to be a 30%. Am I in drop? Yeah. Supposed to be a 30% chance of rain. We're supposed to be going to the water park today. Oh my goodness. This hotel that we staying at, like at this point, like <clears throat> at this point, hell, might as well just might as well just go out lot and spend big money on a real nice, not big money, but you know. Most most nice hotels around this time was like six hundred some dollars. Might as well go out and spend that much money on a good hotel because, like last time we went to um, Louisiana, that hotel womp, like it was an issue. This hotel, I mean, it's okay, but it's not 
all the way i mean i don't know it's okay you know when you walk in it's okay but number one issue was i asked them was their pool open and so when we got the hotel the, we saw that they posted that their pool was closed okay so when we got the hotel we already knew that the pool was gonna be closed when i called this week they said and asked about the pool just to confirm they said pool was going to be uh no they said that they were empty in the pool and filling it up right now and uh, so you're t t talking to me as if it's happening they're hoping that it's going to be filled by this week by no by this weekend baby the pool is black the pool looked like a whole sewage back there baby you lied to me you ain't empty that pool then so on the review, so my sister-in-law was not want, was wanting to change her hotel because of reviews for the sheets. Okay. And me, I was like, mm, you know, I wouldn't, like, we changing the hotel last minute. Sheets is, you know, I, I don't know. I just don't feel that sheets is a, a, like a, a big reason to be just to switch last minute, baby. I should listen to her. I should have listened to her because... Um, I think one by somebody's review said that the sheets had blood on it or something. It was dirty. My review, I mean, not my review, my room sheets, it didn't have blood on it. But baby, it, it looked like them sheets look like, baby, nobody changed them sheets. Nobody washed them sheets. Somebody just, um, what they do? Somebody just. You you know how like when you have a um a, um like when the housekeeper come and they clean up your room and they just make your bed they don't they don't remove your sheets to put fresh sheets on your bed they just make your bed that's exactly what it looked like it looked like somebody just left out of their room they didn't change them sheets they just you know put the sheets on there and I'm like what the and then. The room, and I'm about to go up to them and complain about this too. The room that we got was supposed, because I wanted a suite. I wanted a suite. I wanted space. I wanted space because we got, it's five of us. And we got a teenager, a, a, a preteen. Well, I was a preteen. And you know, come on now, I need room. So, we end up, um, what do we do? We end up getting a room. I wanted two queen. No, I said I wanted two king size beds. I wanted two king size beds and um you know a suite. Two king size suites. That's what I got. It, it, it says seven seven, you know, seven um guests. And you can fit up to more. Baby, you cannot fit seven seven guests in the beds. You cannot. And them beds are not king size beds. I have a king size bed. That bed look like a full bed. It don't look like, don't even look like a queen. I mean, I don't know which one is bigger, but it look like the one that's, that's smaller. I'm telling you, that crap was small. I was barely, at me me and my daughter was barely, and she sleep bad. So I wanted a, a king size bed. I wanted a king size bed because my daughter sleep bad, so it's me, my daughter, and my husband. Baby. That bed fit two people. So two, four, six. The blue room says seven and up. Hot mess, return to sender. I don't know. And then what else happened? Something else happened. I don't know. Every time we called them to like check or whatnot, every time we called them, nobody would answer the phone. I got one person to answer the freaking phone. One person to answer the phone. And we booked this hotel like weeks in advance. This whole time, nobody answered the phone. For now on, anybody that's traveling, anybody that's traveling, you looking for a cheap hotel, baby, just get a cheap, well, not a cheap, but I would probably say get a nice hotel, three, four, five star, the, the highest star hotel, but just get the cheapest one. Don't get, you know, a cheap hotel. Don't try to look for no cheap hotel because, first of all, you're going to be complaining. You're not going to be comfortable. And it's, it's, it's going to be like you're going to be complaining the whole time. And, yeah, you're not you know, going to be in that room. 
But when you do go back to that room, you're not going to be comfortable and you're going to be complaining and you're going to be angry and you're going to be like, uh, uh, uh. And our towels are dirty. Well, not all of them, but the towel that you step on, baby, tell me why we, we unfolded it. Boo, it looked like somebody done already walked all over that towel. I'm telling you, I'm about to go complain. I'm sure about to go complain. See if they give me a little discount or something. But baby, I'm about to go complain. Yeah, I think they're at 4.32. Okay, hold on, let me open that door. I'm using my hair to open that door. Okay, good. Okay, Tris, what room they in? What room are they in? 4.32. They're 4.32. So I just got through taking pictures for the gram, and they kind of cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they kind of cute. Four thirty. Four thirty. Yeah. This way, Layla. Oh shoot, baby, oh. these thighs are just. <laughs> and they just. That's the outfit. This is so cute. Okay. Tristan. No, because I, I hear their voices, so it has to be them. No. Junior! Don't knock on the door. No. We'll reach it. We knocking over there. <laughs> it's hot in here. If it wasn't for you saying Junior. Oh. Who's that? Uh, this is Clown Me and Lyle. He's mad because he didn't get an invite. Invite to what? To the, to the over here. He did. Are you? <laughs> Tickets no, are no, here. No, no, no. Everybody, don't remain calm. Everybody, your Tickets are in here. It's not putting on makeup too. <laughs> <sighs> we. It's humid up in here. Oh, uh, can I go back to the room to get my brisk? Your what? Brisk. Oh, look, go like this. Courtney in there. You better hurry up before he can walk out. They go to Walmart. Oh. Okay. Did y'all need to go to Walmart? No, I went this morning. As y'all can see, we didn't made it home. No, but when I'm at home, I'm using fruit right now. I gotta get back on track. When I tell you, this weekend, I've been going ham. I've been going ham with eating. I did not work out at all. Usually I try to go to the gym, but I brought gym clothes and I had some gym shoes, but I did not work out. And then we gotta get ready for school. <laughs> so I work, what's today? Today's Monday, Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. I work um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I may do like an eight hour shift Saturday or Sunday. I may, but I really don't want to because I want to just, you know, get ready for school. So I start school on the 7th. So yeah. So the 7th is our first day of school. And <clears throat> I think it's gonna be like orientation, like getting our books and stuff. Yep, and I'm eating some chips. <laughs> one thing that I do want to do, I had just bought me a planner. I have one from Walmart, it's like $2, like you fill it in there. It's like a little small planner. But I want to get, oh shit. I want to get a planner that has like time and dates. So I want to get a planner that has like the date, not the, the time and dates, um, like the times on there. I want to be able to like have a set schedule because like I know with nursing school, you know, the transition program, nursing school period, it's like hard with trying to keep a schedule. But if I was able to do it working and, um, you know, losing weight. I'll be able to do it with um well so I want to get a planner from Target I seen somebody post um like um they're like nursing school supplies they have a planner that has like um times and stuff where you can like you know 
right in the time that you want to do things so that's what i want to get hopefully i'll find that tomorrow i have not went shopping for school supplies i'm not doing that until i know exactly what i need because if i gotta spend 700 dollars for a packet of books and a clinical bag and scrubs and shoes <laughs> so maybe i'll record um you know what's on my nursing school supply list because i have a couple things in mind like for one that planner but i'm gonna get that before so yeah so Cinderella, baby, drop the ball with it. Some of my dolls, yeah, they dolls with it. I be cool and I be raw. Baby, yeah, you dealing with a boss. Did you know you dealing with a star? I just put the handy on the rocks. I'ma put the icing on the watch. Yeah. I'ma play, boy, I need a card. Oh my goodness, now I have to freaking go pee. Okay, wait, I think they're over here. Okay, okay. I think I found some. See that one? That one's big. It's so big. I don't know. There's like a bunch over here. But I don't know what I'm gonna get. So I didn't realize that there were. I think it gas that there were um there was music playing in um target but so i did end up getting one of those planners i found one that um wasn't so like big it was a well the one that was big the black one with like the black stripes in it that one um the reason why it was so thick was because it was a daily planner um the one i do have it does not have um, a to-do list on the side but it does have a notepad section in the back so if I do need to put down any to-do things I can put it on the um, in you know the notepad section because I mainly just want the planner to like plan out like um, my the day I'm gonna work out the day I'm gonna uh, what the days I'm gonna work out the days that I'm going to um, work the days that I go to school and what I have to do that day but I can put like the main things I need to focus on in the notepad section I work for the next three freaking days like I it's crazy I work Tuesday and it's like oh three days good ain't nothing baby I'm doing 12s three freaking 12s at the same place dealing with the same ish and it's like when you do that to yourself and it's not like, oh, but I get to give a report to the same people. No, because the place that I'm going to, they switch up all the time. So to tell you the truth, I really don't know what I'm going to be doing. I'm probably going to be a nurse on the floor. And then I'm going to have two halls. I know that much. It is what it is. I need to work because um, I don't know what my schedule is going to be like next week when school starts. I was supposed to go get my ID badge at the school, but I'm like, I'm going to be going up to the school. Like, I'm not about to be driving up. And then I gotta put makeup on to freaking take my um, ID picture. Really, I really don't have to put no makeup on. But, you know, I want my ID picture because, you know, when I was in the other program, my ID picture was looking a hot mess. So, <laughs> I was like, I wanna put a little bit of makeup on, but I'm like, no. The first day of school, that's when everybody in there really gonna be, you know, had that little makeup on or whatnot, even though I'm gonna have a mask on. But I just don't wanna drive up there so many times like no no i don't like driving i'm not driving up there so many times so i got up this morning and i was like okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna go then i thought about it, i said heck no i'm not going i gotta go up there monday i don't need my id badge to get in the freaking building so i guess when we have our break or our lunch break or something then i freaking go but i don't know we'll see okay so this is a planner that i bought 
so yeah so it has like the times and when i feel like it has like the notepad section there's like a wait where is it at it's like a notepad section right here where you can you know there's a good amount of paper right there and then um where is the times who's calling me okay so like this right here so it has like the times or whatnot it's up to seven o'clock yeah so the bigger one like the thicker one it had like up to eight o'clock and like each page had its you know own separate you know date so yes and then this one has stickers wait baby what is stickers because that's what i really like so it has like the stickers and then like it has this little thing where i can um you know like I don't know what this thing called a bookmark so yeah it has like a bookmark and it has like the stickers I think there's like um two pages of these yeah so this is cute I mean I like the stickers I don't use them so I don't even know why I pick it for the stickers because I don't use them so yeah oh I did get this this is what I use in my herbal tea um the little enhancer sweetener and then um this is the mascara that i bought i'm gonna try it today and see what it do and then i got some gum yeah so that's all i got i'm about to go in the house and get myself situated and yeah oh my goodness my goodness i do not feel like doing this i don't like like lord my feet hurt no matter how how early I try to do my shift my shift will never like I will never get done on time like all this charting y'all charting okay let me tell you how much how much how much the work was and how much my feet and legs hurt I had two hauls two full hauls so I have 40 something I'm gonna just say 40 patients I had three patients that I needed to chart on for antibiotics. So you need to do your um, antibiotic charting, you know, just to make sure, you know, to just to document if they have any allergic reactions to their antibiotics. Then I had three people that I had to do a skilled note on, on top of a skin tear that happened. So to sum it all up, I had 40 patients on two halls. I had to pass all my meds. I had to do all my treatments as in my blood sugars, my G tubes, I had to hang up all my G tubes and I had about four, five G tubes and about six blood sugars. And then I had three skill charting, three antibiotic charting. I had um, one skin note that I had to do, which was in three different spots. I had to do an incident report note. I had to do a, um, and I had to do an incident report note and I had to do like the incident um, progress note. So yeah. So that's why my feet, legs, knees hurt. I mean, I didn't even, I, don't, I, I wouldn't even consider my lunch break a break because I just went like or literally around the corner to get me a salad, ate it, and went back to work. That's not a full 45 minute break. So boo, I didn't take a break. And I documented that I didn't take a break. I sure did document that I didn't take a break. And then I'm here for the next two days. Let it happen again. I'm not gonna take a break for the next two days. And I'm gonna get my money's worth. <sighs> Y'all, let me tell you, let me tell you. I tell you, every time I hop on here, I have some type of story. Some type of bedside story to tell y'all. So, tell me why. Tell me why. So, I work today. No, okay, so today's my second day working. As y'all know, I got on and I recorded yesterday. So, I worked yesterday. But, today's my second day, my two out of three. Today today was a booger to top it off i have not slept like like i have i have not slept like i've had what three hours of sleep from from getting off yesterday i have three three hours of a cat nap but that's my fault that's my fault and you know it, it's okay when i tell you the workload at this facility is too much i do not i, I no gonna say i don't see how them people stay no baby they don't i see why they leave and they quit baby the workload is too much and when i tell you i was so close to calling the freaking 
D-O-N, and letting them know, um, this, uh, baby, I was about to cancel myself, and I wasn't going to get in trouble, because all I have to say is it is unsafe, and it is unsafe, like, no, you got me with 40-something patients on two separate halls, you want me to do all these assessments, six, six skilled assessments. When I tell you bedside, bedside is for the birds. Bedside is for the birds. And that's probably why I don't like. When I tell you, when I was working at the clinic, I love the clinic. Well, I ain't love it. But I liked working at the clinic. But this bedside shit is for the freaking birds. I don't care. Hospital or not. Nursing home or not. Boo. Bedside period is for the freaking birds. So, I was on the floor. Was thinking that, you know, okay, well, I worked yesterday, so I know who my blood sugars are. I'm going, you know, as soon as I get, well, as soon as I come to work, you know, I'm going to get a report. And then I'm going, you know, do my blood sugars and just do everything. Just start, start working, you know, just to knock it all out. Baby, tell me why I was on my feet. This is a 12-hour shift, right? 12-hour shift. Tell me why. Eight out of those 12 hours, I was on my feet. I ain't never worked no night shift where all the time. Night shift is on your feet. But eight out of 12 hours. Eight out of freaking 12 hours. That's damn near half a freaking shift. More than half a shift. That I'm on my freaking feet doing stuff. Like, no. Like, the workload is horrible. And I can see if the patients weren't bad. Baby, you got patients that fall out of bed like psych patients come on then you want me to do all this charting you want me to chart on six people just that that's just for skill then you want me to chart on all these people that's on antibiotics then i have to you know do skin assessments baby when i tell you all those damn skin assessments that i saw pop up i say oh nah they know they're wrong for this shit they know they're wrong for this. In the midst of me, you know, ponderosa and all that in my head, you know, I was like, you know what? I ain't charting. I ain't charting. I ain't charting. F that. I ain't charting. I ain't charting. I'll try on antibiotics because, you know, that's going against my, you know, license if something was to happen. But if ain't nothing going on with the patient, I'm not charting on no skill. I'm not charting on that. I'm not, I'm not doing it. Then, so in the midst of me, you know, thinking about that and set it up in my mind, you know, it is what it is. I ain't charting F them. A nurse come around the corner and tell me that they was going to help me pass my meds. And I'm like, wait, 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 what, what, what you mean help me pass my meds? Like, are you going to pass them or, or am I or, or, or am I going to help? Or am I going to assist? Like, are you going to assist me in passing them? Like, what? You know, baby. Tell me why there's a whole that there was supposed to be there was supposed to be a whole nurse doing all the G tubes, doing all of the um, meds. Why the hell this nurse didn't come around a corner till uh, two hours after the time she was supposed to do her stuff? I didn't know. They didn't say nothing. So I'm doing all this shit. I'm doing all this work that I'm not supposed to be doing. For you to come around the corner and what? Pass meds? Like, the, like, when I tell you, when I tell you, when I tell you, when I tell you, that crap ticked me off. I was like, what the? Hold up. So you telling me you telling me I done did all this. Then the nurse gonna say, well, I was gonna um go and hang up the G2s, but I see that they're uh, mostly full. I say, yeah, because I just hung them. <sighs> you know what? I got to do one more day with them. I got to do one more day with them. And, baby, I don't think I'm coming back. I mean, I probably will, but I don't think I'm going to come back. Seriously.